essentially what we try to do is that we looked at um, uh, therapy naive patients or so colorectal cancer patients that did not have any uh, underwent any form of treatment prior to the sampling of plasma that you use to detect CT DNA. Uh, and we did that because um, it is known that uh, especially systemic therapy, but of course also resection can influence the uh, CT DNA profile you find. So that's why we made sure we only included patients in this review that didn't not underwent any form of therapy first. And then we looked at, uh, at the detection of CT DNA through any uh, fa to through various forms of, uh, of detection methods. So we looked at methylation, uh, DNA methylation, which is usually hypermethylation, what you look at in, in the lab. Uh, we looked at uh, DNA mutations, uh, which is well known um, that colorectal cancer harbors a lot of uh, DNA mutations. Um, and also something that's a little bit more novel, and that's copy number variations. Of course, we know a long, a long time now that uh, this happens in colorectal cancer, but there's not that much literature about um, these uh, kind of aberrations in the DNA of circulating tumor DNA in these patients. So that's quite of a novel subject that hasn't been handled in any form of review so far. Um, and to yeah, to know what the uh, the yeah, effectiveness of these kind of aberrations, DNA aberrations and CTDNA, where we looked at uh, a lot of literature, I can say. Um, so I'm looking at the article right now. So, so we started out with uh, more than 8,000 articles we looked at. Um, and at the final qualitative uh, synthesis, we, uh, we got 84 um, uh, articles. And from those 84, we looked at sensitivity and specificity of CTDNA, basically. 